Yes, it is time to look back at the new stories in the world of running that occurred in June. We have Glastonbury, we have a world record that's been broken three times, we have the man versus horse race, we do have a little bit of news on swimming and a little bit of news on triathlon as well, purely because they're epic feats of endurance. So if you like this video, please give it a like subs and subscribe to my channel. Love to have you along as I do. Every month I do a little video about the news stories for the month that has just gone past, just to give you an insight in professional running, people doing extraordinary things, and also any other weird and wonderful snippets of news from the world of running so that's just this month we have a race with a very weird race memento so let's start with pro news the the brits dominated at the games in oslo keely hodgkinson took the 800 meter win and laura muir came second in the same race glastonbury took place at the end of june at the big music festival in somerset and social media was awash with the fact that runners had been spotted doing laps of the Glastonbury site. Apparently, small groups of runners kind of were formed on social media and took around about 4k run around Glastonbury. But, you know, if you run every day, why not run at your music festival? Eight Chelsea pensioners with the average age of 80 left the comfort of their barracks in London and went to the Isles of Scillies to take part in a primary school sports day. The photos showed them having amazing fun with the children and they were dressed in their Chelsea pensioners uniform. On to swimming. A new world record has been set. Barbara Hernandez Herta back in February set a new fastest mile swim across the Drake Passage which runs from the Pacific Ocean to Atlantic Ocean she did the mile in 15 minutes and three seconds at the man versus horse race in Paris Ricky Lightfoot huge on the ultra scene won and became the only the third person to win the race since it started in 1980. When he crossed the finish line he didn't know if he had won as horses go a different route but he beat a thousand runners and 50 horses and ran the 22.5 mile race in two hours 22, sec 22 minutes and 23 seconds. He beat the first horse by over two minutes. Edinburgh Marathon took place at the end of May and a new world record was set for completing a marathon whilst carrying a hundred pound pack. And also the world record was broken at the same time for carrying an 80 pound pack. Colin Harrison, who was raising funds for the Royal Marine charity, broke the world records. He had to go under six hours, 27 minutes to beat the 100 pound record and under five hours and 43 minutes to beat the 80 pound record. Well, he completed the Edinburgh Marathon whilst running with a 100 pound pack and he ran it in five hours, three minutes and 51 seconds. Over in the world of triathlon and long distance triathlon in Ironman distance triathlon, there was a sub seven and sub eight project. The project was for women to go sub eight for an Ironman triathlon and for men to go sub seven. Well, they did it. Katrina Matthews from the UK managed to go sub eight for the women and Christian Bumenfeld managed to go sub seven for them. So they could each have a team of swimmers, cyclists and runners to help them set the pace and also to draft behind them. And they did it to do what is it two and a bit mile swim 112 mile bike ride and a marathon 
all under sub eight and sub seven. As I said at the beginning of this video, there is a world record that's been broken three times in three months. It is for the number of marathons in consecutive days. Well, currently, two runners from Aberdeen, Faye and Emma, have unofficially set a new world record by running 106 marathons in 106 days. Currently, an American, Alyssa Clark, currently holds the official world record for 95 days, 95 marathons in 95 days back in 2020. Then in April, a British runner, Kate, unofficially did 101 marathons in 101 days. And then that was broken by a South African lady, Jackie Hunt, who ran 104 marathons in 104 days. So obviously, the two ladies from Aberdeen knew about the previous world record, so knew how many extra they had to do to hopefully take the world record when it becomes official and hopefully hold it for more than just a couple of months. Lastly, have you had an interesting race memento over the years? Because normally you get medals, t-shirts, buffs, maybe socks. I've had a shot glass, which I love. I think that's my most different race memento is a shot glass. Well, how about food? Sometimes you get food at race mementos. Well, I've never heard of this food. So, at the Winkle Trout Race, that might give you a clue, in the Pear Valley, it's a 9.5 kilometre run with 1,050 feet of climb through woodlands, fields, high moorlands, and your race memento is a trout. Very weird, but yeah, you get to take home a raw trout to go home and cook. So a great race if you love fish. So there we have it. Quiet month in June with new stories around the world. But hopefully you've enjoyed it. And just given you a little bit of fun hearing all about the stories over a cup of tea. I would love to hear in the comments below what weird race mementos you have collected over the years drop them in the comments below we'd love to hear about them there must be some weird and wonderful race mementos out there and if you can remember the race pop them in the comments below and maybe they still do that race memento have a great week guys um as i say please like this video pass it to anyone who might be interested subscribe to my channel and whatever you do hashtag killing it